So we made it, guys. Ah, across the road. <laughs> so we are actually at Boulder Falls here in Roosevelt National Park. Now the city is actually going to be uh, in Netherlands, just like right on the, the outskirt of uh, the city. But uh, yeah, nice little parking, as you can see behind me. Um, and this place is like one of the easiest, easiest hikes, I think, like here in Colorado. Um, just because the grand finale is not even like a quarter mile up. So, let's go. Now this river is coming down straight from the mountain and what it is, it's uh, snow that melted off, uh, off the mountains. So this place used to be closed for like five years due to a massive, massive flood that back in like 2013. One of the things that you will notice, uh, the stairs behind me, uh, once you actually get down from those, you could just about see Boulder Fall already. Now this place is freaking amazing. There, there's only pretty much like one path that leads right up to the to the falls. But um, it, yeah, it's lovely. It's amazing. Um, to my surprise, it's actually overcast right now. Uh, the weather said that it was going to be uh, pretty clear and. I'm going to essentially get a uh, golden hour, but hopefully these clowns will disappear. Let me show you guys around. I got a few hours until uh, sunset. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna, we're gonna hike up to the top of that fall. Oh yes, 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 yes. It's gonna be amazing. Um, the downfall of it is, it's so rugged that I don't know if I could record myself going up there, but I'll try to do my best and uh, we'll see what happens. So let's go. So that hike was crazy. I mean, it's doable, but it takes a lot of like hard work just to just to get like on this trail. But the payoff is amazing. Let me show you guys. set up my tripod, uh, get my camera ready, and essentially I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to kind of like shoot down uh, towards the falls and um, you know we'll see what happens. So uh, let's, uh, let's set it up. 
I'm freaking literally on the edge of the waterfall. Like I'm just, well oh man, it's kind of nerve wracking up here. Uh, there's a huge, huge ass boulder and my camera and tripod is just like on the cliff of it. And I mean, the picture is fucking amazing. But um, I have like essentially the death grip on it. As you can see, like you can see my uh, camera strap so attached to me, uh, which is in case that thing just started to plummet over. And then also I have a uh, a fine hard grip on that sucker too. So I do not want this thing to go overboard. Hell no. But you know what? It's it's worth a shot. So if I could essentially kind of like pan you downwards. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Sorry, it's a, it's a little loud right now. But, uh, yeah, that's... Did you, <laughs> did you get a chance to uh, see the tripod leg? The tripod leg is just in, like, a little crack of the, of the rock. It is just, like, barely hanging on. So my shutter speed is about third of a second. My aperture is f13. My ISO is in is low, so it's like the L mark. It's below 100. And also, I already have my focus set and dialed in, so it's on manual focus right now. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Let me get this shot, and uh, we'll continue our journey. Let's go! <laughs> So all this excitement uh, got me really hungry and also I need to drink water too. So I think I know exactly where I'm going to have lunch. I've got uh, peanut butter jelly, a uh, huge thing of water, and uh, for my father, I got a trail mix. Yeah, that's right. I brought it, Dad. I brought it. <laughs> hey, this one's for you, Dad. But, um, all right, so I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. I'm going to finish my lunch here, and uh, we'll go uh, continue exploring. So, see you in a bit. things that I would probably do if you guys came all the way up here um, I'd probably bring some shoes you don't mind getting wet uh, just because there might be a couple parts that you're gonna have to get into water which you know with me I don't mind I'm on my way uh, to a secret location yes so when my best friend and I came up here, we actually went past the waterfall and we hiked uh, upstream a little bit. Oh, oh. You guys, we made it. We made it to the secret falls here in uh, uh, Boulder Fall. Uh, uh. Oh yeah. guys that's 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 freaking amazing I will show you guys here so we don't have a whole lot of time uh, to photograph this probably got about like 20 minutes 
to like set myself up and record this um, and then also hike back down uh, to photograph uh, down at the base of that fall. So I'm gonna find a composition real quick, set up my tripod, and then let's get that image. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we we made it back down. Holy crap. Uh, while I was up there photographing that secret fall, it started to sprinkle. Uh, that's why I didn't record uh, the process or like my composition to you guys because I like I had to like just get it before like it kind of got worse or I thought it got worse. So I'm sorry I didn't uh, didn't get the process or anything like that. When I did come back down, um, I was about to like set everything up. I met this cool family, you know, and I told them about like the trail to get up there, and also gave like the kids like uh, photography uh, little tips and tricks. So if you guys are watching, you know, hope hope those uh, tips and tricks help you guys out, uh, and also like have fun with them too. So my composition is the main fall itself. And then my background is this like huge, not huge, but you know, it's, it's a nice mountain that just, it's a sheer cliff that just drops right off. But that mountain is lit up by the sun. Uh, my leading lines or my like foreground is um, the water that's actually channeling through uh, these boulders. And um, it's creating some really, really uh, great leading lines. Um, now, I'm actually here uh, two hours before golden hour. And the reason being is because I've been here during golden hour, but the way that these mountains are, uh, the sun actually sets behind the mountains before it even reached that golden hour color. So here's my camera settings. I'm going to throw on my uh, my graduated neutral density filter and uh, play around with that. I'm going to get a couple shots. I'm going to get a little bit longer exposure and then also I'm going to raise up my shutter speed to like freeze the water because I know some people they like that milky silkiness of the like water flowing and then other people actually like the the sheer power of um, the water rushing and just like capturing it and freezing it. So I'll get uh, both shots. cool that was freaking awesome essentially I wanted to photograph the flower as a foreground and then have the waterfall as the background well luckily uh, there was a huge bumblebee that's just like sitting on that and man I, I like snapped away because it was it was freaking amazing with my photographs I wanted to make it feel like that you're here like you're either like you know passing by the tree or like getting the the smell of the flowers in the photo and you know hopefully I could do that with my photographs the last time I came here with my best friend she made me realize of my saying my motto explore the world we live in now when we came here we actually just kept on going we found the path 
to go uh, above the waterfall and we actually went further and in that moment thanks to her um like i don't know it was it was a rush it was a freaking rush because like i i like it snapped i soon realized that i was living by my motto it's thrilling it is like fantastic if you guys ever do come here take your time explore the world we live in all right so that's it for this time being i hope you enjoyed it because i know i did and i'm pretty pumped that i was able to bring you guys along this adventure so if you guys did enjoy it you know what to do hit that like button Boop. uh <laughs> And if you want to see more of the adventures that I go on, hit that subscribe button. Got it! Uh, but until then, I will see you all in the next video. See ya! <laughs>